どうしたエドワードうんああ明日はうちに帰るとすまない弟からだ Greetings administrators In today's video we are going to take a look at the leader of the Undertaker Squadron Dark Star Hell Hell is a shadow DPS unit She belongs to the Yggdrasil pantheon of characters and uses divine grace as the resource to execute her skills. Her basic attack, Handgun Fantasia, summon multiple short-range weapons to attack the locked-on target. On successful hit Hala will gain a small amount of divine grace. Her dodge skill, Ether Cover, will trigger a 2 seconds time fracture and grant her 30 divine grace. Skill 1, Nightmare Harvest, reveals several firearms from her access key to unleash a barrage of bullets that deals shadow damage to all targets that are in range of her weapons. On successful hit, gain 10 Divine Grace. Divine Grace can be gained this way once per skill cast. Skill 2, Spectre Blast, her access key takes the form of a cannon and fires a single shot at the locked on target to deal AoE shadow damage. On successful hit she gains 15 Divine Grace. Skill 3, Execution, her access key takes on the form of an anti-personnel turret, allowing massive AoE cannons to be fired. Damage taking while skill 3 is active is reduced significantly, and Hala is immune to enemy controlled effects. Most damage taking while skill 3 is active will be negated, in exchange Divine Grace will be expended instead of HP. Her ultimate, judgment from above, Hala uses the full power of her access key, to summon multiple cannons bombarding all targets within range with AoE shadow damage. In addition shadow damage for the entire squad is increased by 30% for 10 seconds. Her signature functor, Muriel, decreases her divine grace consumption while skill 3 is active by 5, and increases the base damage of skill 3 shots by 32%. The functor does add a good amount of forgiveness to her kit, she is pretty divine grace hungry, and the damage buff is welcome. However, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a must-have, in order to get good damage out of her. Whether or not you want to go for it is entirely up to you. When it comes to sigils we are going to be running the, Il Judnir set in slots 1, 3, and 5. And you're gonna want to follow that order. The reason for that is slot 1's intrinsic 2 enchantments are, bonus attack and bonus shadow damage. Slot 3's intrinsic 2 perks are bonus attack and bonus skill damage. And Slot 5's intrinsic 2 enchantments are bonus crit rate and bonus shadow damage, all damage enchantments which is what we want for a DPS character like Hala. Choosing 2, 4, and 6 will give you the set bonus for Il Judnir, but you will be losing out on a lot of damage because, those slots have bonus HP and defend base bonuses which you do not need. Now that we have our damage set figured out we need to address her divine grace issues, for that we are going to run Philosopher's Fantasies for slots 2, 4, and 6 specifically because any other order will give our Hala inferior damage. If you're a psychopath who happens to own Omega ranked Hala just replace 5, and 6 with 2 piece Griffin's Pride. For the substats on the sigils we are looking for 5, the first two are crit rate and crit damage, if you roll any one of the two just let it be. The other three are, bonus shadow damage, bonus skill damage and bonus attack. Bonus shadow damage is ideal, and will benefit all of your kit equally. Bonus skill damage is a solid choice but will not buff your basic attacks or ultimate. Bonus attack benefits your entire kit but has poor multipliers. For ether codes 3 blue is great when dealing with mobs, this will increase your damage against normal enemies by 70%, Skill 3 will now have a gathering functionality and shots fired will explode and the range for which you can gather enemies will be increased by 60%. This path will be pretty divine grace hungry so keep that in mind, if you don't have signature functor, I would run this path while I had one or two other Yggdrasil characters on the team. 3 yellow is fantastic for single target damage, and is recommended if you're running her signature functor. When it comes to team comp, Hal and Zenkibo Comet Ray, Running her yellow ether code is going to be your go-to comp. With this setup Zenkubo doesn't just serve as a way to gain more damage when their ultimate is cast, but she will also be able to control the battlefield with skill 1, precision bombing, keeping the enemies under constant imprisonment, your third slot is going to be a flex. 
For my meta slaves, Hera will fit that spot well when she is eventually released. For newer players who are still learning the ropes, Tidal Song Poseidon or Counter Tide Levy are solid choices for survivability and providing attack buffs. Like I mentioned before, she is very Divine Grace hungry. You can solve that issue very easily by running her with other Yggdrasil units. When running her with one other Yggdrasil unit, your Divine Grace will automatically be at maximum capacity every time you enter modifier mode. When running her with two other Yggdrasil units, the second you enter combat your Divine Grace will be at maximum capacity, pair that with the Meow Mimi and the energy issue is resolved. In the future when Bastet is available, running Hell, Kotachi and Bastet will be a fantastic comp, and will provide better DPS overall. Kotachi alone, can already shred enemy defenses when using her blue ether codes, and Bastet have shadow resistance shred while running her blue ether codes, to top it all up their chain ultimate increases shadow damage for another 30% for 12 seconds after the ultimate is cast, not to mention her intrinsic anti-boss and elite mobs mechanic, making those two my go-to units for many teams especially dark. Of course in the future, running the default Hell and Zenkubo Comet as support, and either Hades or Anubis as the main DPS is viable for future Dark teams. Gameplay-wise Hell is pretty straightforward to play, in fact the worst thing about her might be her playstyle, your goal when playing Hell is to gain as much Divine Grace as possible so you can rain death on your enemies with skill 3. There isn't much more to it other than that. Which is why even though Hell teams are very strong, she usually just gets delegated to the AI. In closing, Darkstar Hell is a fantastic unit that is capable of dealing with any foe you might come across in your journey. Without her signature functor she does suffer a bit from energy issues, issues that can be alleviated by running her with other Idrisil units. The only real issue with this little lady, is that playstyle, it's just not for everyone, but then again I suppose the AI is not a person, and so. Delegated to the AI. して。敵、敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵。敵
仕事